is one of the many directors for Pancakes and Booze, and we're at Penn Social. What are we doing here? We are at the combination of a party and an art show. And what are we eating? And what Bring are we drinking? All you can eat pancakes and tons of booze, my very yes. favorite thing in the world. And I just had some chocolate chip pancakes and they were amazing. Yes, and I'm were. gonna go have some booze after this. Cool. So yes. So tell us a little bit about what you do as a director for pancakes and booze. It sounds like a fun job, if you yeah. ask me. Basically, um, I execute the show, the physical execution of the show. So, right. so Tom Curran, the guy who started all this, gives me the supplies I need, the artists and um, you know the walls, the employees. Right. And yeah, I, I build the show. It's kind of like directing a movie. It's my vision of you know what's happened. It's a pretty and what nice we do vision. Do as a team, like I said, this guy back here is actually the director too. He's just not he's just not fame hungry like me. <laughs> so yeah. So where did Pancakes and Booze originate? It originated in L.A. by the guy um, Tom Curlin I was telling you about. He's right. actually a cool dude. He used to be a cameraman, got bored, and did this for fun in L.A. And it just really took off. And so, now we've gone international. That's so, amazing. So yeah, we're in Paris, London, and um, Berlin starting this year. Wow. Yeah, it's really, really a great thing. So from L.A. to D.C. to Berlin, where else are you planning to take this thing? Well, we're all over the country. I think, I think the plan now is to continue to spread throughout Europe and other countries. That's awesome. Yeah, it's That's really awesome. great to bring you know the fun and the sense of community everywhere. Right. So when I went into uh, Pancakes and Booze today, I saw people from all over, but they were all locals. Like I, I noticed people from right. you know the, from the DC area. All right. So this is Jeanette. Jeanette. Yes. So tell us a little bit about your work. So my work focuses mostly on uh, hyper femininity. I have a fascination with femininity. I love it. And what does the sign, what does that symbol mean? So the the typical image is the hand with an eye in the middle. And it's supposed to protect you from the evil eye. But I kind of reinterpreted it and put lips inside of it because to me uh, there's something very powerful about your lips, whether it's you know you're, you're protecting yourself through your words or through your sensuality. So wow. I love it. Well thank you. I try to make it as contemporary as possible. That means as uh, present as whatever is going on. I like to, I like to make uh, the art and whatever inspires me. So Deadpool came out like recently, so I made a Deadpool. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. I, I just started uh, listening to a lot of Tupac, so this is why I made this one as life goes on. Love it. A lot of people are talking to me about Marilyn Monroe. Things going on. Star Wars just came out, so I made a Darth Maul one, right? Yeah. And then um, another Avengers one came out, so I made an Iron Man. Uh, everyone's going to listen to Hotline Bling by Drake. So yeah, I love it. I really think about that. So, yeah. Tell me a little bit about the people yeah, you bring in. Yeah, that's one of in. my favorite things about our show is we do everything local. So we don't travel with a group of artists, you know. Right. And we're, not, we're not a traveling circus. So <laughs> we support the communities that we go to. So when we go somewhere, we um, get artists only from that community, DJs from that community, live body painters, live painters from that community. And we that's only awesome. employ people from that community. Yeah. So so it always has a, a feel because the main thing about Tactics and Boost to us is is that it does feel like a sense of community. It does feel right. like a party. You're hanging out with your friends. And even though you're selling art, like, you know, you're networking right. and, and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's all over in any country. You find yeah. that sense of community, which is like really right, cool. right. Like I said, it gives it gives artists um, um, a pedestal, basically a place, uh, exactly. a platform to sell their stuff. There's people in there right now who've never shown before, and they're selling their stuff. There's that's a girl I was talking to who was so nervous, and now she's getting a confidence in herself. That's awesome. That's great. You know what I mean? Because people so, see how, how great her exactly. stuff is. Exactly. That's awesome. That opportunity to do that, I think, is like one of the most rewarding things about doing yeah. this. Yeah. And also, like I said, the networking and the sense of community because artists really need to stick together. Yeah. There's people in there who become lifelong friends. They end up working on projects together right it's important that's awesome well I think that it's pretty safe to say that it's lit and I'm gonna go grab some pancakes and booze let's go Woo. let's get out of here <laughs>